Hi, I'm Steve from Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. In fact, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. Now, today, my community goers, I've done a uh, Ophelia Go app update and tested it out in the field. I've done a quick update for you guys. It's the new version. It's 1.1.77 and then 79 in brackets. Now, very, very quickly, I actually filmed the uh, the screen recording and an intro and an outro when I was out in the field, etc. But for some reason, I've lost that footage. I don't know where it's gone. Someone's stolen it or the cat's eating it. I don't know. Somebody, yeah. So it's very, very quickly. Um, so I'm having to do a bit of a voiceover on the footage that you'll see. First go up, you'll see I'm gonna spin to the left or to the right, or you're to the left or the right. And I'm doing this because there's a bit of a lag on the whole of the movement of the Holy Stone, at least for me as well, but between the connection between the mobile phone uh, app and the drone itself. I'm looking like the drone's up there, it's not. So uh, when you move it left or right, forward, back, pan the camera, there's like, there's like a two or three second delay, which is really, really annoying. Um, I never had it that bad before on the last update. Uh, I know some people did have some issues with it, but mine's quite bad in that sense. So I do that and then I'll go across and it ends up being like a range test and I get like a thousand and fifty meters out of it. I was, no intention of doing that. I was keeping it in line of sight as much as possible. Uh, and then I lost connection and I was still going forward uh, with the drone and I was trying to like adjust and reconnect. Sometimes it does reconnect if you're lucky. Um, I think I got to about 400 or so meters. When it, when it cut out and I'm trying to reconnect back onto the Wi-Fi settings. And then before I realized it, I looked down and I was at like 950 meters. And then by the time, because the wind was like 15, 17 miles an hour winds with 30 to 35 mile an hour gusts at times. Uh, so that's why. So yeah, let's get into it. You'll see it in a way. There's a lot of shuddering on the camera all the way through it because of the fact of the wind. It does not like the wind. It, the EIS on it, the electronic image stabilization does not like the wind either. So let's get into it anyway, and we'll have a quick look at what it's like. Okay, so around this point near this big cream building here on the right is when I lose, or it's about 400 meters, give or take, and I lose the FPV point, you know, the visual on the actual app. Uh, I'm still moving forward uh, with it while trying to uh, readjust the antenna, kind of trying to get back into the Wi-Fi, see if I can reconnect, because sometimes you can. And it wasn't until kind of, um, around now give or take that i noticed that on the telemetry it was at like 900 meters maybe 950 meters and so kind of i slowed down it was still moving forward uh, i was trying to get a bit more height if i could on it just in case it auto returns to home at this point which i'm glad of and as long as i can see those numbers counting down on on the telemetry i'm happier so here we jump now to this bit. So it's really struggling. The amount of speed it came, it went forward with. Uh, we'd lost a lot of that speed either due to interference. You know, we've cut outs from the signal on the from the transmitter, or just the wind in general. You can see here it's hardly moving at all. So here now we cut where we've passed eventually after about maybe like two or three minutes of flying, and it was that long roughly. It's ridiculous. We got to the other end of the the waterworks themselves. And so at least at this point, we was kind of moving in the right direction. I think I still lost a little bit of a signal about two or three times during this attempt, getting from uh, the furthest point away all the way back to roughly this point. But we do start moving, as you can see, and a bit more uh, quicker. Now, I don't know if you'll notice or not, but the angle we're reversing back from at this point is actually a different angle to what I came in at. Now, I wasn't aware of this at the time because I was still trying to connect to the FPV on the Wi-Fi uh, from the app to the drone. And you'll see this kind of line there that goes from those trees in that separates the two pieces of grass. Now, I'm to the right-hand side of that. And... You can see here the return to home part it's just really either the winds blew it to the left or something's happened with the signal uh, and we're about like 20 30 meters away over the road and uh, you know that's not ideal as well especially with this drone i don't want to be flying over rooftops at all uh, with this drone uh, so 
uh, I have to cancel the return to home. And then I kind of slowly rise the altitude slightly, just in case there's any kind of interference blocking it, as well as the wind. Uh, I eventually then get a, a Wi-Fi signal back. So I raise up the height a little bit. And while it allows me to do that, then I start manually trying to bring it home myself. So eventually, with a bit of persuasion, it does come back uh, with a bit of a, a bit of manual intervention there. And then, as you can see, because I'm actually standing on this line, which you can't see me, but uh, I'm actually standing to the right-hand side of this dividing kind of piece of uh, the line between the two pieces of grass there. So we're roughly around the hound point now. So I'm just going to cut in in a moment, and we're going to go and fly now straight ahead to the right hand side of the waterworks just to give it another little bit of a test so here we start flying forward now now i've done this flight a couple of times either with the dji mini 2 and also this drone as well and i got a lot further than i did this attempt as you will see now around that kind of car park area there where this kind of circle of trees is in the in the center to the right hand side that's around 250 to 280 meters give or take and so when we get here we start losing connection uh, with the fpv and that cuts out that's not great i mean it's a pretty pretty dire if i'm honest you know again like 250 to 280 meters you can see here so I've, I've skipped ahead a little bit because uh, it was like kind of hovering for about 30 seconds or so. And I press return to home and it does start coming return to home. And, there's, and then there's no real issues apart from the wind at this point. So as the drones return to home now, I will just want to go very quickly now over some of the pros and the cons of this update from what I found myself. Yes, the beginner's mode is turned off by default, at least for me on Android. So that's a bonus and it does save my settings for me, save me keep on having to uh, adjust that every time I go in. So that's a bonus. Uh, the lag is a terrible bonus that outweighs completely like tenfold what the good points are. A two to three second delay, give or take half a second, is absolutely terrible and dire. You know, it's especially for new drone pilots who need that confidence boost. It's it's not great at all. And it can send their confidence off, you know, even just operating the camera and there's a delay there. So it's obviously app related as far as that's concerned. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this app update of 1.1.77 for Android. If you have, then please give it a very laggy thumbs up. And if you have got Android, then let me know in the comments down below of if you've tried this update out and your experiences with it. If you have got Apple device, the, the, the app version of that, then please let me know as well what version you've got and how you're finding it as well. I tend to get less issues, it seems, from Apple users. And if you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and being part of the exclusive, yet elusive, community that is 2CAP Media. Until the next video, stay safe and drone on.